David Maltzberg. I'm a professor of Christian studies in the School of Christian Studies here at Wayland. I've been with Wayland for about seven and a half years now. My wife Elaine and I have been married for 40 years. We have four children, all grown, who are spread out across the world. I'm a native of San Antonio. Uh, although I swore after I moved from here, I would never come back, but I did. I, I enjoy hunting, fishing, and uh, lately I've uh, been learning to make videos online. I have a bachelor's degree in religious studies from East Texas Baptist University, and I did my Master of Divinity and my PhD at Southwestern Seminary, and my specialty is biblical backgrounds and archaeology. You know what? Uh, the best thing about working in archaeology is you can't do it at home. You have to go off and travel somewhere. So. I've uh, worked on excavations and projects in Israel and Jordan and for the past six or seven years in Turkey. I started out on an excavation in Israel digging in the age of the United Monarchy, the period of the kings. And after that, once I moved into Jordan, I went a little bit further back in history and we deal with uh, the early Bronze Age, sometime around 3200 BCE. Now that I'm working in Turkey, we work primarily uh, near the hometown of Paul of Tarsus, and we're working with the connection between the uh, religion of Judaism and Hellenistic religion and the rise of early Christianity in that region. I teach primarily classes in core biblical studies, such as Old Testament. So I teach the Pentateuch, I teach uh, wisdom literature. I also teach hermeneutics, interpretation of the Bible, but I also teach Greek and Hebrew for students who are looking to understand the biblical text in the original languages. You know what, I've just always felt like uh, once I discovered something really fabulous in the biblical world, I wanted to share it with people. That's especially true of archeology. span A lot of people don't have the opportunity to travel and engage in archeological studies, especially those related to the biblical text. And so it's an opportunity for me to connect them with the biblical world itself. One of the most important things uh, that you encounter in the classroom is a reading assignment. And a lot of us have to learn that reading doesn't necessarily mean spending a ponderous amount of time over each and every word. Sometimes the best thing you can learn to do is skim over a text and look for those portions which are most important. And then you can hone in on the material. So if you learn to be a good reader, you'll be more successful in the classroom. You know, Wayland is, I think, one of the unknown jewels of Baptist life and biblical studies. We have a fantastic faculty. All of them are practitioners in their field with a lot of experience, whether it's in local church ministry or in fields like archaeology and uh, study of Dead Sea Scrolls. And so our faculty bring a lot of knowledge to the classroom, but all of our students discover that Wayland is a campus that's not just friendly to military, but it has a long history of working with students who have a military background. We also are amiable to all adult learners, those who have a full-time job and are looking to increase their opportunities by improving their educational background. Wayland has provided students for decades now the opportunity to study in the evenings, study online, and improve themselves so that they can do better for themselves and their family and reach the dreams and goals that they have for themselves.